Today on Ham Radio Q&A, I take a look back at 2019 and count down the top 10 amateur radio videos of the year, so please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, thank you for joining me on my annual countdown of the best amateur radio videos of 2019. This past year has seen some tremendous growth on this channel. Uh, with over 1 million of views, 65,000 hours of videos consumed, and over 11,000 new subscribers added to the channel. But I really couldn't have done it without you, the viewer. So thank you for your support. Uh, your support has helped drive uh, things what I feel has become one of the most best produced amateur radio YouTube channels out there. So uh, thanks again. You know, my goal for the coming year is to uh, have more and better videos, and uh, at the end of this one, I'll kind of give you some highlights of what to expect in 2020. But for now, you know, let's take a look backwards and uh, get into the countdown of the top 10 amateur radio videos of 2019. Number 10 on the list is my live stream from August of last year. Ham Radio Q&A Live may have not have been one of the most viewed uh, videos on the channel, but it did have one of the highest levels of engagement of the year. And um, Joe and I are really grateful to um, everyone that tuned in that evening. And you know, we look forward to uh, doing more live streams in the year to come. Number nine on the list is, uh, should a Baofeng be your first ham radio? Well, Baofengs are a popular choice for the beginning amateur radio operator, but are they really a good choice? Well, I'll break down the good and the bad of these inexpensive Chinese radios so you can make an informed decision on whether or not to pick one up. Coming in at number eight is the Chameleon MCOM3 uh, Portable Base Antenna Review. Now, Chameleon Products was gracious enough to provide several of their antennas for review, and um, so we did. Uh, our first one was their Chameleon MCOM3 Portable, and we put it through the paces, uh, Joe and I, uh, during Winter Field Day last year. I think this is also one of the coldest videos that I made, shooting outdoors uh, with temperatures in the low single digits. So, uh, it's a great, it's one of my favorite videos. Number seven, how to be a net control operator. A great way to provide public service and maintain your skill as an operator is to be a net control station. Uh, being a net control is uh, rewarding and not, not overly difficult. And in this video, I give you some of the tips for success to take you through the steps of running a net. Another antenna review video pops in at number six with my video on the Chameleon MPAS2 modular portable antenna system. This is such a full featured antenna system that in order to demonstrate all its capabilities, I actually did several videos on it, but this is the first in the series. For another fun MPAS video, you know, be sure to check out my Parks on the Air activation video, which also featured uh, the MPAS2. You'll find that uh, in the video description below, otherwise I'll have to throw up a link right up here in the corner of the screen. And number five in the list is actually my favorite of the Chameleon Antenna review videos. In this one, uh, Dr. Lori uh, joined Joe and I uh, to uh, install the Chameleon MCOM3 base antenna in a 100-year-old monastery. This video shows the installation and operation of the antenna in a very unique setting uh, where a low visibility antenna system was desired. Number four on my list is the review of the Redivis RT97 portable repeater. Uh, this compact UHF portable repeater has full duplex capabilities, uh, 10 watts of output power, um, so it, you know it's a perfect portable, temporary, or a personal repeater. In this video, I look at the features of the RT97, but if you are interested in its operation, you'll certainly want to check out uh, my demonstration video of the RT97. Now, that video didn't make this top 10 list, but um, you can watch it. I'll throw a link right up here on the corner of the screen. Number three is a video exploring uh, the common question, why are the repeaters so quiet? Older hams will remember when VHF and UHF was a flurry of activity, but now it seems more like um, a wasteland. Why is this? And what can we do um, to fix it? Well, I'll give you my opinions of that in this video piece. You know, I think one of the most polarizing videos I did in the last year was this one uh, last April, and it also weighed in at number two, about a petition for rulemaking uh, submitted by the ARRL to the FCC to open up more HF spectrum uh, to technician class license holders. Uh, the, common, the comment period for this video petition uh, closed long ago, and unfortunately, uh, no action had yet been taken 
on this issue. But you know, the wheels of government, they move really slow and hopefully, you know, we'll see a positive outcome in the coming year. And finally, the number one video. Topping the list for 2019 is my video where I take you through the parts of my portable HF operating kit. Since making this video back in June, I have made some minor adjustments to the kit, but you know, the core components still remain the same. And this kit continues to perform very well for portable operations and now park activations I've done over the last year. Well, there you have it, the top 10 amateur radio videos of 2019. Did your favorite make the list? Uh, feel free to share which one you like the best in the comments below. And a playlist of all of the 10 of these videos can be found in um, the video description below. So you can um, sit back, relax, and watch them at your leisure. But what's in store for 2020? Well, uh, this last year I did about one video a week and I'm planning to keep that um, pace up for the coming year. You can expect more outdoor and um, portable operation videos. Uh, those seem to be my favorite to produce and they're always well received. Uh, I'm going to dip a little bit more into some emergency communications topics this co coming year. Uh, hopefully we'll have some more uh, product reviews. Uh, looking for some sponsorship opportunities so if anybody wants to sponsor the channel drop me a line. And finally I'm going to keep up my monthly Your Questions Answered series. So keep sending those questions and of course video ideas to me. For more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpole-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. So if you like this video, you can always give me that big thumbs up. Really appreciate that. And check out some of the recommended videos alongside here. And also, if you haven't already done so, and if you've watched this far, press that subscribe button. Pressing subscribe and the bell notification will let you know when a future video is released. Well, that's it for this time. Um, Hope you had a great uh, 2019 and have a blessed 2020. This is uh, Michael, KB9VBR and 73.